I'm dead. <gasps> YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kuzi, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. I just started over in Phasmo. Well, kind of. I Prestige to Prestige 3, but we are starting over at level 1. When that happens, when you Prestige, you basically start over. You lose all your money, you have no equipment, I will show you proof right here. And uh, so I figured it'd be a good time to uh, just go ahead and break it down and uh, give you the five things I wish I knew, and a lot of people in my uh, streaming community uh, wish they knew as well as a beginner player. Okay, so if you're a beginner player or you're trying to dip your toes into the depth of Phasmo and you want to get better at it, this video is for you. So before we get into it, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe. If you want to come hang out with me live, I'm recording this live on stream right now and you want to join the multiple gamers here that troll me a lot of times when I'm recording videos for YouTube, uh, you can uh, find me in the link down below. I stream almost every night around 8 p.m. Eastern. So anyways, enough pitter patter chitter chatter, let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna uh, touch on these five main things, but we're gonna do a couple contracts in this video, and I'm gonna kinda be touching on some stuff that I think it would be helpful for a beginner to know. Uh, the first things first, we are playing on nightmare mode with custom settings enabled. So that's different than what you're used to probably if you're a new player. You're probably used to amateur through maybe right. professional, where the ghost gives you three evidences, uh, and all of that stuff, or maybe you look at the board and it says responds to people who are alone or everyone, uh, you don't get that in nightmare mode or professional and above, I should say. In nightmare mode, you get two evidences. The ghost hides one, so it's a little bit harder. On top of that, the hunt duration is a little bit longer. And the grace period, meaning whenever the ghost makes its hunting noise, there's a grace period, so it'll basically make that noise for however long that grace period is, depending on your difficulty settings, and then it will start chasing you. With nightmare mode, you have a two second grace period. I think for amateur, it's like a five second, and then it slowly gets shorter as you go up in difficulty. But yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty crazy. But I did want to have the screens on because on normal nightmare mode, you don't have the screens. We can monitor our sanity a little bit better, but I'll kind of touch on sanity, but um, I have five five crucial tips that I wish I knew uh, that I haven't really covered in any of my other videos, which I encourage you to check out if you're curious, that uh, I think would be beneficial for a brand new player. So as you can see, we have dog shit equipment. Uh, so what I like to do is your first objective is to obviously find the ghost room. And uh, I don't know how like beginner friendly I need to make this, if I need to cater this towards the person who's never done a Phasma contract before, or maybe the person who has maybe played this just on Friday nights with their friends and doesn't really know like the purpose of the game or whatever so i'll kind of just find a middle ground but uh the your first objective is to find the ghost room the other thing too is with our custom settings we have the uh breaker on just because it saves time but we have the music boxes of curse possession uh, i won't cover that in this video but the curse possessions are very useful for finding the ghost and also figuring out what type of ghost you're dealing with as well so while i'm finding the ghost room um first thing that i want you to know the gin this ghost right here cannot turn off the breaker. So because we're starting with the breaker on, if the ghost at any point in this contract specifically turns off the breaker, we can immediately rule out the gen because the gen has an ability uh, like all the 24 uh, or 23 other ghosts in the game. Uh, it's got its own special ability and that ability is tied to the breaker being on um, for the gen. So in order for it to do its ability, the breaker has to be on, and so it will not turn off the breaker, okay? The second uh, tip that I will go ahead and give you, since we're talking about ghosts, is the Wraith is another super easy to rule out ghost, and that is because once you get past level one for sure, um, but you unlock salt, right? The Wraith will not be able to step in salt. So uh, I have a, a guide down below that is my XP farm strategy that I'm actually going to be using with this, um, with me hitting this prestige. And if you want to check that out, it's linked down below. But that's how you level up really fast. And that's how you unlock new equipment and better equipment. So uh, I'm going to be doing that to unlock the salt as fast as I can so that it makes it easy to roll out the wraith for me. Uh, the third, not not the third, but a little bonus tip that I will give. It was what you just saw right there is a, is a ghost event. It is, uh, it is called an airball ghost event. The Oni cannot do an airball ghost event. 
So that al already tells you, and that door noise you just heard was my chat trolling me. So great. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, the Oni cannot do an airball ghost event. So we already have one ghost ruled out. And since I've been here yapping, it seems like the temperature has been dropping. So that tells me that this is the ghost room. If the temperature drops, especially with the breaker on, um, you have found the ghost room. Now we have the EMF reader here, which I just dropped a complete Phasmophobia equipment series that I've been uploading episodes for it every Wednesday and Friday. So uh, I would encourage you to check that out as well. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go get some more equipment here because we have to figure out what type of ghost this is even though it's hiding one specific evidence. Okay, so it just did a ghost event. And anytime it does a ghost event, it will turn off the lights like that, and it will uh, show itself. That specific instance, it just appeared as a shadow model, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it is going around touching stuff. So I have my UV here to check for fingerprints. We have fingerprints right here. And this tells me that maybe the ghost changed rooms? If the temperature goes up, it changed rooms. But sometimes the ghost can roam like that and interact with things. And as you can see, we have... It's hunting already? But when the ghost is hunting like this, make sure you turn off your flashlight. Make sure you have push to talk enabled because doing this right now talking would lure the ghost. But because I have push to talk on, um, it's not going to come near me. But if you stay out of the line of sight with the ghost, you have your equipment off and you're not talking or you have push to talk on, then you're going to survive. But that actually brings up the next thing so this is probably a demon because the demon hunts very early it is um it's one of the early hunting ghosts uh and it hunts at 70 percent sanity but we're probably not at 70 percent sanity because we are at um we've been in the light which is the other tip i was going to say which isn't included in the list but staying in the light prevents your sanity from draining however we are actually pretty low how i don't know i will say that the demon hunts early however it has a ability where it can hunt you at any sanity so normally it hunts when your sanity hits around 70 percent that's when it can hunt naturally but if it wants to use its special ability where it hunts at any sanity it will do that so if you're dealing with the demon there's a chance that as soon as you walk in at 100 percent sanity it's gonna hunt you and that right there is very dangerous so um because my sanity is a little bit lower than normal, it did two ghost events, and when a ghost does a ghost event, it drains 10% sanity, unless it's an Oni, which we already ruled out, and unless it's a Banshee, uh, where it will drain 15% if you are the target, but since I'm playing single player, I'm always going to be the target. So, that tells me... We might be dealing with a banshee right here, which hunts a 50% sanity. So I don't know. We could we don't have a pair of mic, unfortunately, so we can't for sure know that we're dealing with a banshee. But I think it's very odd that we walk out and we walk back in and it came to our location, which is one of the banshee's things. It likes to roam to your location. It came to our location in the in the kitchen here and did a ghost event, which if you have that going on going on. But then again, it's got all of this shit thrown everywhere so i really don't know we just gotta find one more piece of evidence i guess let me check this uh i mean that's warm it's warmer than it was are you here okay so it's like right here now and you can also tell where the ghost is because it will start the hunt from the ghost room now the Gorio, this is turning into a ghost guide, but you got to know about the ghost to really get ahead in Phasmo. But the Gorio will never be able to change ghost rooms. Just like the Jin will never be able to turn off the breaker, the Wraith will never be able to uh, step in salt, and the Oni will never be able to do a uh, airball ghost event. So the Gorio will never change ghost rooms. But because the temperature is higher in here than it was, that indicates that the ghost has changed ghost rooms. So. I'm going to check here for spirit box, and uh, which would for sure rule out Gorio. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? The tier one is so bad. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Okay, so we do have freezing breath, and it is cold. Okay, so I'm going to place my ghost journal down. It's hunting. So, if you're like me, and you're a low level, and you don't have smudge sticks, you can do this, which is called looping the ghost, but the ghost 
will see you and the longer it sees you it will speed up and this tells me judging by the throwing it's a poltergeist it just flung that Shock it just bait. flung that freaking knife way across the room so i'm gonna say this is a poltergeist and if you're if you're brand new and you're like how the hell is he figuring this out uh this just this just comes with time and dying a lot trust me but what i would what i would recommend is I would highly suggest playing on something where you get three evidences where um, you can figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with. This is what I did to improve. You can figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with by the evidence and then let it hunt you and start picking up on its hunt behaviors. So I am going to check for mimic orbs because mimic is still in play here because we have UV. If we see orbs, there's a very good chance it could be a mimic. We have to potentially find one more piece of evidence. Because if we're on Nightmare and we have three evidences, that just tells you that we are 100% dealing with a Mimic instead of something like a Revenant or something like that. But I think we have Freezing. No, we don't. We just have Freezing Breath, which doesn't indicate. What's up, Start? Welcome to the stream. We got EMF. That's EMF 3, though. But because this is a Tier 1, I can't tell if this is 3 or 4 because it's so stupid. I hate the Tier 1 EMF, man. I hate it. It's hunting again. I'm going to go try to hide this time. We're going to hide right here. Please don't come over here. You're coming over here. Please don't come over here. Mommy, I'm scared. So as long as you break a line of sight, you've got your equipment off, and the ghost doesn't roam. Like, if it would have came here, like, to the couch, and would have seen me, I would have been fucked. Okay. Okay. So the hunt's over. It's a regular hunt. I mean, dude, it's not really throwing though. And I'm not seeing orbs. Still starting from this area though. So it hasn't changed since the first room, which is fine. Uh, let's check spirit box again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You have to make sure you have uh, the lights off when you're checking for spirit box. I guess we go grab dots. Cause that's a is it hunting again oh my god it's hunting again uh i might die right here actually is it a hantu i mean hantu which i think it just sped up because it saw me right there So the fourth thing I'll say is I'm actually surprised we're we're surviving with no smudges or anything. We're cracked tonight, man. We're locked in, baby. All we have is is UV. That's it. It's like not getting freezing. So I don't think it's a Hantu because a Hantu has to have freezing in nightmare nightmare mode. Um, but uh, what was I gonna say? The fourth thing, talking about ghost orbs. Okay, uh, the ghost orbs will only appear in the ghost room. So if this ghost has ghost orbs as evidence, um, or if it's a mimic, which has ghost orbs, but it's not official evidence, because if you check this here, but you go to the journal and you click on mimic, it says several reports have noted ghost orb sightings near mimic. So even if you're playing no evidence, the mimic will always have ghost orbs. Okay. Uh, which speaking of the journal, 97% of the shit that you read talking about the ghosts right spirits are very common ghosts blah 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 this shit useless okay you're better off using things like the phasmophobia wiki or uh check out the video that i did a website did on a website called phasmophobia-journal.com super helpful but the phasmophobia wiki is like your one-stop shop for like learning about the game aside from this channel of course <laughs> um <but laughs> anyway that was so bad but yeah okay did it hunt from the kitchen I don't know. Okay, my chat is trolling me again. Thank you. If you would like to come troll me in chat, the link for that's down in the description. It's hunting again. I'm going to hide in this corner. Please don't come in here. The only time you should have your journal up is if you need to double check evidence, which you could do so here, right? Because when you check it or exit out, it automatically rules out the ghosts that have or doesn't have that evidence, right? Um, or if you're selecting a ghost. All right, so it seems, so this is this is the ghost room. We don't have freezing. It's like slowly going to freezing, but not, okay? 
This is so bad, dude. Do we have dots? We don't have orbs. Wait a minute. You guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. Jesus Christ, there was an air ball and then Melinda gifted a sub. It's, it's fucking... It's not a myling because it's loud. It's going to kill me, dude. This has got to be a demon. Right? I'm dead. Or oh, cracked. Homie turned around and looked at me. It's got to be a demon. I'm dead. <gasps> okay, I'm getting out of here, bro. All right, we are. That is. That's. That's too close to death for me. I'm getting out, bro. I am getting out of here. We should have died right there, but the hunt stopped literally a frame before the ghost could kill me. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna say this is a demon just because the the demon is a little bit more aggressive. But why is my sanity so bad? Could it be a gin? The breaker's been on this whole time, and I noticed the one time it was in the living room and it had line of sight on me, it started speeding up like more than a normal ghost. Do we think it's a gin or do we call demon? Maybe I should play professional because I'm really bad at this game. Shit, dude, I don't know. Okay, didn't do any weird blinking. A lot of it buttercups came from just having my equipment off and obviously not talking in the game. So the ghost really didn't know what I was, where I was because it didn't have line of sight on me. I'm gonna say gin because I think it has something to do with, with some sort of sanity dream, but I can't remember, but it was a gin. How? I I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, I was going off of the fact that the breaker hadn't turned off all contract it did that weird line of sight speeding up thing and we got the photo cam unlocked and i think the gen does something with your sanity but i can't remember 100 percent what that was so we went gen and we got it correct with that said uh let's do maybe one more but uh one of the things that my community recommended uh on one of the five things to know is actually how to set your loadout so once you get things unlocked like you've seen and as you see playing on higher difficulties like nightmare brought me from level one to level six in a single contract now granted i was yapping during this contract but if i was focused and not really worrying about like trying to explain what i was doing or anything like that i could have been in and out of there in probably half the time because i wasn't sitting there trying to like explain things right but uh the last tip that i'll say uh that's for sure included in this is how to set your loadout because the shop can be a little bit confusing so i have a couple of different loadouts here that were from my previous prestige but because we're prestige three now we have another loadout so uh we'll just go with that so this has um everything that you unlock so far and once you get the higher tiers if you uh if you go to the shop say we're level 29 right once we hit level 29 we'll have to come to the shop tab and basically click on this and hit buy right and then we have to go back to our quick loadout and whatever loadout we want to have the tier two dots on we would have to go to the dots projector section and then click the second tier right they did an update uh, a little bit ago uh that made this a little bit easier to understand where you select the tier and then the amount that you have obviously you can have up to two dots projectors and so if you want to you can have you can just hit the plus symbol and it will be added but you have to enable the loadout and it reflects over here on the right all right so let's do one more uh let's go i don't want to go to tanglewood because i feel like i go to tanglewood every single contract so let's just go to like edgefield okay that makes perfect sense okay first and foremost we have our nice little motion sensors here which is very cool if we had salt we could pair that with the salt and for sure check for a wraith um but you don't need a motion sensor to check for a wraith you just need salt um but we also have the tier one photo cam which is some booty butt cheeks uh some polaroid action but while we were loading in i cut this part out but classic in my chat actually informed me which i want to inform you so the reason we went down so much was because the ghost did two ghost events right there right uh we should have been down like 20 percent. so we would have dropped down to um 70. well the gin the other ability on top of its line of sight ability during a hunt is if the breaker's on, it can randomly zap 25% of your sanity if you're near it. And since we were in the ghost room, there's a high chance that that is whenever it happened, which is probably why we dropped from, we dropped all the way down to 50% sanity, okay? With that said, 
we got that right so now we're here and we're gonna do a normal contract hopefully it's nothing nothing too crazy but i do hope it's a diogen because that would be freaking sick because i love diogens they're my favorite ghosts in the game even though they sound absolutely terrifying when they're far away from you but once they get close they're very slow we have the mirror which i'll showcase that now it's a very very helpful and probably my favorite curse possession because it's the easiest to use you just grab it you hold it up and it shows you the ghost room and i'm currently standing in the ghost room so that's great because as you can well you can't really see it but that's uh, did it change Okay, every time I do this, I lose 20% sanity, so I don't have any sanity pills, so I just pretty much screwed myself. So that's fun. It just turned off the light. I don't think it's a mare, but the mirror tells me that the... Okay, yeah, it's definitely not a mare, because a mare will never be able to turn on a light. So this tells me that this is the ghost room. Uh, let's get this stuff set up before the ghost kills me, which I... It could be a Diogen, because Diogen's hunt at 35% sanity. Or 40. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you still here? Is the temperature going up or down? I shut it. Okay. Did you touch the, the window? Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna say that's EMF3. So hard on the freaking... Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? We don't have a crucifix either, so that's fun. All right, but I am going to go get our other equipment here. Check for orbs and dots and ghost riding. But when you're this low, dude, the ghost could literally hunt at any second. So we have to be mindful of that. We don't have any crucifixes, which are used to stop the ghost from hunting. And we don't have any sanity pills to restore our sanity. So we're kind of in a pickle right now, to say the least. And the ghost normally starts its hunt from in the ghost room, which is where I am currently. And I'm in the back of the ghost room, too. So that's, uh, that's just not ideal. I'm not seeing any orbs. I could use the mirror one more time. Is that an air ball? Oh, fuck me. It's a revenant. Or is that twins? Yeah, that's not Revenant. Never mind. Why did it speed up like that? Is it a Raiju? Okay, so hunt's done. When the ghost is hunting, you... What in the McFuck is going on? Alright. I gotta know if this is a Raiju or twins because it was slow but then it was, it like sped up for a split second. I don't know, but we don't have any smudges. So that means we have at least 20. I don't think it's a Raiju. It's a Raiju whenever it comes into contact with electronics or gets close to them. It speeds up significantly. And it's slow right now. This is a weird one. I can't tell if this is a Raiju or not. We're gonna have to move some of our electronics. So it started from in here. Which doesn't really mean anything because the ghost can start a hunt from where it did its last ghost event if you are within the hunting threshold like if your sanity is low enough for it to hunt but i'm gonna say it's hunting again it's not a demon it's too slow to be a demon it might be the twins i might die no it doesn't ride you listen to that Did you guys hear how fast it was? It got closer to the dots right there and it, it sped up like crazy. I cover all of this in my how to easily identify or roll out every single ghost, which I'll link down below. Um, but yeah, the Raiju loves electronics. So when it comes close to an electronic during a hunt, it will like rapidly speed up. And then when it goes away from it, it will like slow back down to like a slower pace. So 
I didn't see any orbs, and I'm just gonna go off of the hunt behavior. But then it's doing that. But the the obvious speed up was was too telling that it's a Raiju. So I'm just gonna call it uh, a Raiju. Um, but as you can see, uh, there were multiple times where we should have died. Not necessarily in this in this contract, but the other one. It was a Hantu. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Pain and suffering. It's all I know. You know, but when you don't, when you don't have good equipment, when you don't have anything to defend yourself or like stop the ghost from hunting you or protect yourself during a hunt, like using smudge sticks, it's really hard to get it right consistently. Needless to say, as you can see from this video, knowledge of the game is very crucial and more specifically knowledge of the ghost and what they can and or cannot do is also crucial. So do me a favor, watch this video that just popped up on screen and uh, I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.